friend. And, uh, sorry, uh, I know you forgive me for smoking here. I know you know I drink beer. You say that's all right. You forgive me for that. You're a pretty cool dude, man. Yeah. Do you ever meet a person with an imaginary friend? You're keeping me in good hay for my horse here, my friend. Who you talking to, Norm? Oh, don't you, uh, you don't, don't you see him standing there? Nobody there. Oh, he's invisible, man. You're talking to your invisible friend. Oh, yeah. He's the best hanging guy around. Why's that? Oh, he forgives me for everything that I do. Yeah. Smoking, drinking. So you can just drink and smoke all you want? Oh, heck yeah. Maybe there's more people out there with imaginary friends than we realize. There are more than two billion Christians who follow the life and teachings of Jesus Christ across the globe. What's your friend's name? Oh, my friend's name is Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. That's interesting. For Jesus, yeah, you gotta jump, jump, south, south for Jesus, yeah. On a count of three, one, Two, Two, three, Jesus! I don't think these people really even know what they believe in. So where did we get the name Jesus? The name of Jesus has been popularized the world over. It has been called the only name by which one can be saved. And it is a name that has come into existence only in the last 500 years. So what is the name Jesus? The name Jesus is a transliteration. To transliterate means to replace the letters or characters of a word with corresponding letters in another alphabet. Words may be transliterated into the Roman alphabet from their originals in Greek, Chinese, Japanese, and so on. The result is a transliteration which preserves the form of the original as distinct from a translation which gives the equivalent word, often unrelated in form, in another language. For example, pteron is a transliteration from Greek and wing is its translation. The name of Jesus hasn't been transliterated just once, but it's been transliterated three times. From Hebrew to Greek, from Greek to Latin, and from Latin to English, from Yeshua to Iesus, from Iesus to Iesus, and from Iesus to Jesus. When a word is transliterated, it loses its original meaning. God said, let there be light, and there was light. <laughs> This is actually some pretty scary stuff. When you get into the topic of religion and its purpose, you see the vast majority of people who have been brainwashed to believe in a certain way. You talk about demons of cancer, demons of depression. Isn't it more logical just to say cancer comes from smoking? Muscle spasms are muscle spasms. Why demons? We have run into addiction spirits spirits that will why are they why are they spirits why aren't they just I, I stuck the heroin in my in my body and i'm addicted now why why is there a spirit involved in it's a great question yeah i was told that if i didn't uh, that i'd uh, be in trouble you're in trouble yeah, if I keep, if I, if I, uh, mess up and all that stuff. If you mess up at what? Oh, when I, uh, well, talk to my friend here. If you don't talk to your friend, you'll be in trouble. Yeah. 
Who told you that? People in the church. Did they tell you that you'll be tortured? Yeah, they did. It's kind of messed up. It's a bit like when you go into the army. The first thing we want is to take over your body. So symbolically, let's say we're going to shave all your hair. As long as you give in on this, we got you. We got your body, which is what we want. In one sense, sometimes the churches, some churches at least, do the same. We're going to tell you something unbelievable that you got to believe. When they could just relax. If you believe it, then you will believe that they alone control heaven, that without them you cannot get into heaven, and then they've got you. You've left your brains in the parking lot. Some people don't know how to face reality. <laughs> reality. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah. yeah. So that way you can hate on me. You can hate on you me. Hate on us. Oh. Hate on us, man. You gotta jump, Full jump, throttle. Jump, oh, Jesus Christ. You gotta jump, jump, suck for Jesus Christ. Like crazy, man. See, I don't really get this either because devil is a Greek word for slander. So if you're saying all this false stuff, which that's what slander is, technically what you're talking about is pretty devilish. I gotta tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe of the all time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these 10 things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you.